Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. Today I've done a video on this smoky eye right here. You're super quick and super easy to do as well. So if you want to see how I achieved it, then carry on watching. So excuse the way I've had to like pin my hair so my French doesn't get in the way. But I'm gonna start everything by prepping my face and for this I'm using the Total Moisture by Benefit. I'm then gonna go in with the Hida Beauty Foundation and I am shade Custard in this. And I normally mix this foundation with MAC Studio Fix because I'm really quite pale at the moment. And this is in shade NW10, which is like really, really light. Um, but if I put just a little bit of it, then it just makes the color kind of blend in with my face. I do need to go and tan. I'm gonna go sunbed because I am literally so pale right now. I would definitely say that you don't need a lot of the Huda Beauty foundation. I normally use two pumps and two pumps will cover my whole face. And I use it with my Beauty Blender of course. And I normally spray some Fix Plus on the Beauty Blender. Not too much because I know some people use the Beauty Blender dumped but I feel like if I do that then the foundation doesn't spread out evenly or it doesn't actually like stick to the face I feel like it kind of sticks to the beauty blender and I don't get the coverage that I want to get so I normally just like spray a little bit of fix back so it's like a little bit wet so this is my base foundation done I'm now gonna go in with concealer and for this I'm using the naked skin concealer and shade fair and I really like this because it's not too much but it still gives that nice like coverage under the eye and it's still a little bit lighter than my foundation so yeah it does the job perfectly um i do want to try the tarte um cosmetics concealers but i haven't had a chance to get my hands on one yet i know i'm really late to the game but I don't know, I just didn't really feel the need of getting them because I'm not looking for like full coverage under my eyes because I know that you'll crease. So at the moment I'm okay with this, but I definitely want to try it in the future. And what I do with my concealer is I put it all over my eye as well. So I create a base for my shadow. And I'm of course going to go in and set everything. And for this I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and like a smaller beauty blender. I'm again gonna fix it with, I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna spray it with my Fix Plus. And I normally go really lightly with my setting powder. I don't really like to bake, but I like my face to be really matte because during the day I get really oily. So I did set my eyes as well, so it's all ready for the shadow. And now I'm gonna go in and bronze with Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer, which is amazing. I don't really like to do heavy bronzing, and I find that this is like perfect it's in between it's not too much but it still gives me a little bit of a nice contour and I do bring this all the way up to my forehead and I don't do my jawline normally what I like to do at the end as well is just take a fluffy brush and go all over my face just in case I've got some powder left so this is it guys this is pretty much my base done I'm then gonna go in and do my eyebrows and then go ahead and do <coughs> sorry <laughs> I think I'm getting a bit of a cold I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow, so let's do brows. Uh, for brows, of course, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade, and I've used this for ages. This is in shade Chocolate, which I think is great for my brows, because I don't really like to do them black, because I know my hair is like quite black. Um, I like to do them really dark brown, um, and I'm looking for my angle brush which I can't find. Oh yeah, here it is. And this is the Morphe M158. And it's so good. And what I like about this is that this angle brush is like a little bit um, flexible. Because I've used other ones that are stiff and I can't really get that like the fine look on my brows. And this is amazing. And it's only about two to three pounds. So I'll show you how I do them. I'll just brush them out first. And then go ahead and do the underneath so I literally just like draw a line where the shape of my brow is and then I do exactly the same thing 
at the top. I never fill in the first part of my brows because I like it to be like quite natural. So when I actually brush it out, it's not too heavy. But this is pretty much it. I don't think there's anything too special. I'm quite lucky because I've got quite good, good brows. And I literally love this pomade because if I have any gaps, for example, this, um, this eyebrow just literally naturally goes like this, so it has that shape. This one kind of arches too much here, and the hair doesn't grow, so I literally have to like draw a line. So it's really good for like filling in any gaps that you have while still looking really natural. So guys, brows are done. It literally took me just a few minutes to do them. I'm now going to do my eyeshadow, and for this, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette, and I absolutely love this. I'm gonna do a like smoky eye look but while still keeping it quite natural. I'm gonna try and insert a picture of the palette like somewhere here um, so I can put a dot on each eyeshadow that I use that way it's just easier so whenever I change shadows you'll see it appear back on the screen with another dot on another shadow. So I'm gonna go in with a very light brown color and I'm gonna use this as a transition shade and I'm using my Zoeva 225 brush, which is absolutely amazing. I love this brush. It blends in the shadow so good. So I normally bring the shadow just below my brow bone. And this palette does give you a little bit of a um, fallout, so you have to be really careful with the pigment. So literally just go in really lightly. It is really pigmented, so you're gonna get a lot on your brush. So I've just gone in with the shade Heat Devil. I'm putting that in the crease. I'm not taking it as high as I took the other shade. I'm just literally just putting it in the crease and just blending that out. And for this I'm using like quite a pointy brush, but this is really soft. Uh, it's the Morphe M139 brush. And I'm just going in a few times with this color because I want that color to kind of stand out and pop but I think it's the right color because it doesn't look like it's not blending in together or anything like that so I'm just gonna insist more on the other eye as well so I've just changed color and I'm going for a deeper red and I'm putting that all over my eye but not taking it out I'm now going in with a like dark purple and I'm just placing that at the end of my eye to give you that smoky effect. Now I'm just taking a black shade and this is just a Makeup Revolution in shade black. And I'm taking my Zoeva 231 brush and I'm just gonna go at the end of my eye to kind of give it that even more smoky eye look. I'm then gonna go in with this metallic color and literally put it in the corner of my eye all the way through and kind of making it meet with the um, black shade. And this is it guys, in terms of shadow, I'm now gonna put a very, very thin liner through, and I'm gonna put my lashes. And I'm just gonna use the Maybelline 930 uh, lipstick, which is a really nice matte nude. Thank you for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my channel, I do videos all the time on makeup and also haul videos. Subscribe to my channel and give it a big thumbs up if you liked it.